Hello everyone, this is Tobias White here. I'm going to give you a short little demo on how to use Adobe Illustrator to do freehand inking. And uh, the great advantage of this is that it lets you be more intuitive and faster in inking any type of work. And this technique is great for uh, comic book artists, graphic designers, and illustrators all alike. So, when you go into this, you're not going to be using the pen tool at all. And everyone hates the pen tool and its handles and nothing like that. Um, even the, you know, high professionals, you know, it, it takes a lot of practice to master that tool. And then if you want variation of weight on it, you have to uh, outline the stroke and do all these kinds of technical procedures just so you can modify it later. And that takes up a lot of time this technique allows you to move much faster and more intuitively so instead of the, the pen tool we're going to use the blob tool not the brush tool, the blob tool and you want to make sure that you before you start this is that you double click it and because we're using a wacom tablet for this technique you need to make sure that the option is set to pressure and the variation of weight you can set that if you always use a preset size but I find that I'm always adjusting my size and uh, on the fly and that will always change it no matter what so you can go ahead and just keep it at one point variation but you do need this to be set at pressure and like I mentioned before this is going to be using a pressure tablet so you really can't do this with a mouse you need a, a Wacom tablet or sim similar pressure sensitive uh, digital tablet. So when you're going in you want to make sure that you're within one to three increments and I'll tell you why in a little bit later. Usually I like to step between one and three and so you come in lightly, follow your sketch, and you end up lightly on, on the pressure and you'll get a nice smooth stroke. Sometimes you need to restroke because you didn't um, change the pressure adequately enough. Um, if you have it anything larger than one to three, you're gonna get a really, really thick stroke. It actually doubles in, in size to what your uh, little circle cursor will show. And, but what it's doing is it's auto-correcting your stroke. It's trying to interpret what your intent was based on your direction. The larger you go on it, though, it, it, it's harder to adjust the pressure. And it's interpreting that as you know, being uh, purposefully done. And so it's going to try to adjust itself to make it look like it but at the same time as a smooth stroke as possible. Now you can use this to your advantage because you can create those rougher strokes that you need for texture but in this case we don't always want that because we're just doing the line work right here and the other great thing about this especially if the if you knew know anything about using Illustrator is that uh, you want one whole solid, sometimes you want one whole solid piece. You don't want all these little small shapes all over the place. So the great thing about this is that it's additive as long as it's on the same layer. So I just created another stroke right here. If I wanted to continue this line, that's why I ended up in a taper. I start off in the middle and I continue it around. And here you can see that it's actually one continuous shape. If you find that it's not the exact shape, you can always go in with your pen tools to adjust, or you can just flip your stylus around and trim off the excess. And readjust your line just like you would do in Photoshop except that this is a lot cleaner 
And that's basically about it. it there is, there's no mystery about it. There's no aggravation. You don't have to worry about selecting that small little pixel all the time. And you get these nice varied strokes. And of course, like I said, use the bracket tools and you can adjust your line width, your cursor width, so you get more variation of weight. And it does its best to make it as smooth as possible. And you'll get strokes a lot smoother than you would in, like, say, Photoshop or anything like that. And the great thing is it's vector, and this allows you to make it, make it to be blown up to any size without having to worry about resolution. All you have to do is just save the output file at the resolution you want. Well, I hope that helps you, and uh, have fun enjoying art.